So we knew our tour was going to bring out their new Spec 2 Mustang for us to check out, get a close look at, and they were going to take us for a ride in it. The surprise I didn't expect is they handed me the keys and said I can take it for a drive. So we knew RTR was coming today, and we get to see this car. I did expect you to sit here. <laughs> uh, I joked with you that you're gonna let me drive it. I knew obviously you probably couldn't. Correct. So the fact that I'm now behind the wheel and about to take a test drive in an S650 is pretty cool. All right, so my initial observation, first time driving a 650 is, yeah, it's familiar. Like there's a lot of things you'd expect. It has that familiarity, but yet different. Like I feel like, okay, I'm, I feel like I'm in a heavily <laughs> S550 Mustang, like yes. somebody completely customized the dash and the body and everything else. And I know a lot of people talked about this screen, about, you know, I don't want the big iPad in front of me. And when you sit there and look at it like at a show, it does look kind of big, not at all driving. Yeah. It really isn't. I, I, I'm absolutely amazed that it, it's down. Yeah, not at all distracting. Like I'm driving, I don't. I can look down and I have all this information right where I want to see it, but when I'm driving, you don't even notice it unless you look down. Yeah. It is It is not in any way intrusive into the driving experience, which is pretty cool. All the people I've talked to about it so far, they've all said this, oh, I just don't know if I could get, I'm like, it, I'm like within 10 minutes, it's super intuitive, you forget it's there, yep. you're just driving. And I swear, not a sales pitch. Anybody who hasn't driven one of these, when you drive it, just drive one. Yeah. When they get to the dealerships, get behind the wheel and take a look and you'll notice immediately it is not at all bad. And how much stuff you have control over right here is just great. And so this is the spec too, so this has obviously a suspension to work done correct. to it, but we're talking stock engine, stock exhaust, stock engine. Yeah, thing. correct. Yeah, the exhaust is quieter. Uh, yeah. This being a single tip. Yeah. Yeah, I think Resonator Elite would wake this up a lot, but yeah, uh, I guess the 15 through 17 kit should fit this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I mean, I, we've looked at it in CAD already, and then there is a lot of carryover from the previous generation okay. on, on those on those elements. So, you know, you know the, I think the seventh generation S650 exhaust, though the active versions, they just need to be reclocked. Okay. They'll basically fit, they're just a little bit wider. Okay. So that's, I feel like exhausts are gonna be very ready quick to, to market. Yeah, yeah, ready to go. The trans clutch feel very familiar. It does, the car's got a, it's tough to explain, and it might be partly because it's an RTR, but, it's tighter. It, it's like, tighter. The steering is like yes. crazy responsive. And I'm yes. not like a sport mode or anything, right? This no. is just normal. No, you are not in sport mode. Wow. This is, it really, I mean, it, the steering seems like it's way more yeah. instant. It's way more point and shoot than the other cars were. Uh, that's the most amazing thing about it so far to me. It's just that, I mean, it is. Just the responsiveness of it. Shoot. Exactly. Yeah. And the ride quality. I mean, this is yeah. a lowered car and it yeah. rides amazing. And we know, you know, obviously, based on the older style chassis, but there's, I know Ford did upgrades to it. I know yeah, as they were working on, there was different support systems they are working on and stuff. And I mean, you can feel it. It's, but I gotta say the biggest thing for me, I love the screen. I, I wasn't, I liked it because I liked the technology. I wasn't sure it was going to be intrusive. I love it. This steering wheel. Steering wheel is I mean, this so is, great. This is going to kill the aftermarket yes, for steering wheel sales. It's so great. Because anybody buys these cars, you're not going to want to get everything. You get the yeah. flat bottom. You got the carbon fiber, the leather, I mean, you got the 10 and two grips. Like, this is what you want. Yeah, yeah this is what you want. Exactly. I mean, this is great. I think Ford really not, I think they took a lot of notes, a lot of customer feedback. I, said, I, how I can agree. I improve this? How can I make this car, how can I, here, what are people doing to these cars? Exactly. Because I think that started with the active exhaust. Like, yeah. Hey, uh, you yeah. want it louder. Okay, we'll give you that option. Yeah. Now, I mean, this, this is, yeah, you want to try, especially with the steering and this wheel, this is going to be a capable track car. Yeah, exactly. Very capable track yeah, car. Yeah, you have like the in-touch grips there and yeah. everything, whereas before it was just kind of a rounded, you know, standard steering wheel. Now you have this performance-oriented steering wheel is the best way to describe it. And even this is nice. I mean, I, I love the look of the round vents in the previous ones. I always thought it was kind of a cool, like, homage to a sports car kind of look. These work nice. Yes. <laughs> it's right there. Right there. It's, it frames the driver. You have almost like more of a cockpit feel, but yeah. you're not trapped in it. Like if you drive a modern Corvette, like you feel like you are in your own little cocoon. Yep. 
this one still shares the space, but yeah, I feel like I'm in control of everything here. Everything's easily reachable. Your pony button's right there. Your trash control's right there. Everything is literally fingertip off the shifter. And the power's there. And there it is, <laughs> yeah. The power is there. Suman 4 does performance packs the way they used to. Yeah, these things should make 500 easily. Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then who knows what the Dark Horse will make, but the torque's there, which is nice. I mean, I drive a 350, you know that. Yep. I love that car, but nothing, no one's home until 4,000. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't even get fun until five, but this thing is way, way more fun. All right, so being this is a performance pack and it has a feature that I know Vaughn and Chelsea were involved in yep. that I absolutely have to see how it works. Of course, <laughs> absolutely. How does the drift rig work? Okay, so it's really, really simple, and this is what I love about it. Okay. Is you're, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go in, you're gonna hit your pony button. Okay. That's gonna pull up your the customization too, the mode. Car, and then we'll show you guys the stuff in a minute, but this is really cool. You're gonna hit your track app button, okay. and then on the right side, very top, drift brake. It's gonna give you a warning message. Don't go to track mode. You're gonna hit okay. It's gonna enable the drift brake. It's gonna put the car in track mode. Okay. And you are ready to rip. So basically now instead of this being an e-brake. An e-brake, when you pull it, it, it works as a drift brake. It has break. a separate caliper on the rear. It's gonna engage that caliper. And it shuts off, I'm assuming all the traction control and everything yeah. shuts off. Yeah, so you're, you're gonna get your this would be if you if you wanna channel your inner Vaughn getting mm -hmm. and <laughs> you if pretty you much have, hit this and you're ready to go. It puts the steering automatically into sport mode and if you're on a Magna Ride car, it's gonna put the suspension into a sport mode as well. Okay. Uh, all right. And then it has a little emblem, last thing has a little emblem on the tack, just so you know, all the way on the left. Okay. Where the car is sl literally sliding, that's how you know it's ready to go. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that that's cool. That's fun. <laughs> so Josh, uh, a handshake isn't enough, <laughs> but wow. I mean, I can't believe this car's here. I yeah. can't believe you took me for a ride. I can't, I mean, this is still, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, this never happened. I can't believe it. But we're so excited with our partnership with RTR and these guys. All these parts you see on this car are gonna be available at cjpointyparts.com. So when your Mustang arrives and you get your 2024, definitely look us up. You can make your Mustang look like this.